Hey guys, uh, this is Diwali and I hope your preparation for this Diwali is uh, completed. So today's video is not on any kind of syllabus of or any kinds of board or any kind of class. I will try to tell you that how does a mathematician uh, wish their friends the happy Diwali in their mathematical language. So I'm starting this video. So before starting that video, sir, I have to tell you that friends, the, throughout the total video, we need the conception of the derivative, lean, I mean integration differentiation logarithm and a little bit complex number if you are too much junior to understand these topics then i will tell you please uh, keep your patience until the end of the video and watch the video with your patience because the answer is the main thing for you and after some time you will uh, able to be able to understand all the things too so without any kind of delay let us start our video i will first of all write here an equation and uh, i will start solving that and whatever is the answer that would be our today's main thing so i'm writing the question the thing is h by 3d into ddp of root a p q equals to l by capital w integral over 0 to capital w logarithm of 1 by e to the power 2 root a w divided by y under dw right guys and let me clarify here here root a that means a and y are the constants and the other parts are the variable you can treat a and w also constant too so let us start h by 3d you know why whenever any variable is multiplied with a constant this constant comes in front of the derivative so it would be root over of a into d d p of p q and here l by w integral 0 to w log since you know whenever this is in the denominator if you want to pick this up pick this up so it would be e to the power minus 2 root a w by y by the property of indices right guys and this one h by 3d root over of a 3p square right because you know whenever we derivative d d x of x to the power n the formula is n into x to the power n minus 1 here x is p and n is 3 that means it would be n that means 3 into p to the power 3 minus 1 that means 2 and this is becoming p square right guys and this one l by w integral 0 to w you know whenever this is in the power this come in front of the log so it will be 2 root a w by y into log e into dw right guys and you are having from here 3 and 3 getting cancelled out h root a p square by b equals to l by capital w integral wait since i told you that root a and y are constant so it is coming in front of the integral that means 2 root a by y is coming in front of the integral and under the integration you will have w into 1 into dw because you know the value of log e is 1 because the standard base here is e right guys and <coughs> p square by d equals to minus l 2l root a by w into y and if you derive this it would be w square by 2 under the limit 0 to capital w h into root a into p square by d equals to minus 2l root a by w into y and it would be capital w square by 2 minus 0 i am just putting the limit what how to put out this limit first of all you have to put out the upper limit here where the variable is this one you have to put out the value in, in the place of the variable that means w small w that is the variable is replacing by capital w 
minus you have to put out the lower limit that means we are putting zero square this is giving us zero right guys and you are having from here h root a p square by b equals to minus 2 l root a by w y into capital w square by 2 right guys here 1 2 and another 2 is getting cancelled out 1 w another w getting cancelled out right guys now i have to clean out the board i'm very sorry for that because i could not manage this one so i'm coming on the upper direction <clears throat> i'm not cleaning this question you can notice this one from here so what was our last line this one so i am getting from here h into root a into p square by capital D equals to minus 1. This one minus sign and you know we can write minus 1 as i square because I told in my previous some videos that i square equals to minus 1 and this is from the complex number. This is the main thing. i square into L root a by y into w. Right guys, I am multiplying this one this side, h root a p square y equals to d i square l root a into w. And then you can write h into root a into p into p into y, b i into i into l into root a into w right right guys this is l and this is i now we can you can say that we can cancel this out root a and root a from both of the side because i told you that a is the constant here and obviously this is not zero but we will not cancel this out we will multiply root a on both of the side Right, if we multiply root a on the both of the side, it would be like this one. Right guys, and if you multiply root a with this root a, then you will get only 1a. That means h into a, p, p, y. And here also like this one. Right guys, and as I told, the answer is the main thing. So this is the answer, and this is Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali to all of you friends and who watched my video till the end. Thank you very much to them. Please uh, subscribe my channel and share this video with your all the friends and have a happy and safe Diwali. Thank you.